Ten Hag is not stopping to explore different striker options as far as the summer transfer window is concerned because he knows that we might find ourselves in a situation of not being able to spend a lot of money and he's really laying out very many options such that in any budget that is provided to him by the club of Manchester United, Ten Hag can really find himself really signing a player for Manchester United. Welcome to United Matters Channel and this time round, Eric Ten Hag is in for Santiago Jimenez. Mexicano playing in for Feyenoord, Elvizi again and you wouldn't really go ahead and really put these sources or downplay these sources. We're having a, we're having a story coming from Anthony coming out and really hailing Eric Ten Hag for the work he's going to hate to do and even Eric Son is here to let us know about how Eric Ten Hag went ahead to change the mentality of the players and the discipline to the dressing room when he really came in at the club of Manchester United. Rock and David is my name. Don't forget to smash the like button, comment and share and don't forget to subscribe to you because you need to be doing all this to see to it that you find yourself in a position of really finding yourself being being in the know of what we bring you in here for you now today a story has come in from a netherlands this source is known as w deportes so they are telling us that things coming from South America. They're telling us that Manchester United is the team most interested in Santiago Gimarez services. Manchester United already have several games, not only going to see him play, but there was also a chat with his environment and see the possibility of in the summer starting negotiations. Meaning that <clears throat> Ten Hag really lacks quality. You know, when you look at Gimarez's play. 21 years of age, he's really that striker that gives you a lot of options going forward. Hold up play, good, <clears throat> you know, 21 years of age, he's really a physical guy, having 1.84 meters tall, meaning that he's a towering of a lad, and uh, he, oh, he was born in Bonius, Argentina, but he plays for Mexico, that's it. He's known as Santiago Thomas Jimenez. When you look at this season, he has gone ahead to play. 26 games in the L Divisi. He has gonna hate to score. He has gonna hate to score 10 goals and two assists. In the KNVB Cup, he has scored, sorry, he has played four games and scored three goals. Then in the UEFA Europa League, he has gonna hate to play seven games, <coughs> scored five goals, meaning that in 37 games, he has gonna hate to score 18 goals and two assists. That is, all those are 20 goal involvements for a side known as. <coughs> For a man known as Santiago Jimenez. Jimenez is a very talented player. At the age of 21, these are kind of players that Eric Ten Hag knows that he can get in and obviously develop and really make better. And when you look at him play, <clears throat> you just admire him to really be part of that United side. But one will ask, how who is he coming in at Manchester United? I believe he's not coming in at Manchester United as that first choice striker, but he's being laid in there as an option if at all things go wrong. And Ten Hag has always known this that you will never you'll never predict what the glazers are going to do and ten hag is a manager who really prepares for both situations now in his in his choices that he's really laying he's having those high-end choices like victor oshman harry kane goncalo ramos that are in the ilk of 80 million pounds plus you get so now he's having these other strikers like the hojlands who are in like 40 million pounds you get uh now when you look at uh santiago jimenez when you look at his price tag <clears throat> it's really very 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 little for Manchester united i think this is one of the deals that Eric Hag might find himself sanctioning for all the glazers tell him that you need to wait no money he'll first get in his forward that he wants we've been told again that Manchester united have made <clears throat> have made the first approach to sign final striker Santiago Jimenez, 21, United are the team most interested in him and have held initial talks about a summer deal. He has a buyout clause of 20 million euros, release clause. Now, if the, if the release clause is just 20 million euros, that is 18 million pounds, those are penalties to Manchester United and I think Ten Hag would love to have a player like him. To me, him, him being liked by Eric Ten Hag is an indicator that Verbohaus is not needed and is not going to be signed at Manchester United because he has failed to live up to the expectation of the manager. They just gone ahead and really got the job done. But <clears throat> when Martial came in through, he was benched too. Then Marcus Rashford has been leading the line for the previous two games we've been playing at Old Trafford against Brentford and against 
uh, against Everton. You know, so it shows you that Ten Hag is really looking for that striker that can come in first before he goes in for that long, that long, that long night of really seeing himself into a position of really signing either Harry Kane, of signing either Harry Kane, Victor Oshman, Goncalo Ramos, because he knows that the negotiations will drag on, and he knows that a player of 20 million euros is just an easy. An easy bargain for Manchester United. They won't even negotiate a lot. They'll just go in and say, "All right, 18 million pounds. Let's pay that off because that money is available." And uh, <laughs> he has sensed that he just doesn't want to go to the preseason without a striker signed. But that will rely on to who is going to be the owner of Manchester United. I believe if the Qatar is coming through and we take over Manchester United, then these won't be the kind of players that Ten Hag will be going in for. Unless otherwise, he gets in the first choice world-class striker, then he gets in Santiago Jimenez as a striker who is really going to be up to you. Acting as an understudy for the team of Manchester United. Now, for Anton Martial, I think he'll find himself in a position of really fighting for his position. I don't think Ten Hag is going to sell Anton Martial. He's not going to sell him. He likes him. And we've always been told by Ten Hag that he wants three strikers. Even when Ronaldo and Martial were here, he was demanding for one more. That's why he was going for Yao Felix and Victor Oshman in the summer of 2022. So Jimenez is a very good striker, you know. Clinical, left-footed, towering over lad, And you've always heard... People like Fabrizio Roman talking about the physicality in every kind of striker that United is being linked to. That Eric Ten Hag likes a physical striker who is really good on the ball and can really act as uh, can really act as a pinnacle into or an apex into the attacks of a side called Manchester. So that is Santiago Jimenez for you. Keep a little bit of an eye on him. We might really get him in to come in through and complete the trio of the number that. Ten Hag really wants into his striking role. You know, if he gets in even Harry Kane, he'll have Anton Martial and maybe <coughs> Santiago Jimenez. But it's also another option for Eric Ten Hag. If at all the board really takes long to really get him, get him a striker he wants, he would love to go in and really get in a player of <coughs> of Feyenoord. And Ten Hag is obsessed with the LDVs players. And I think he's going to hate to defy all the falsehoods that we are being circulated around by media that LDVZ players don't perform well in the Premier League. At, on his team, Ten Hag has three players, Malasia, Lisandro Martinez, and Anthony, and they are not a disappointment this season, meaning that even Santiago Jimenez can come in through and obviously do the needful for the club of <coughs> Manchester United. So let's wait and look around the corner and see how it's really going to be and whether these negotiations that have been really made by Manchester United are really progressing and going on well. But it's good to see that we are scouting players like Santiago Jimenez, who is like, who is 20 million years, who is 20 million euros, <clears throat> who is 20 million euros of worthness, but he's a quality player that you'd always love to watch lead your line. And I think he's better than Veghost. <clears throat> then, Anthony has come out and said, of course, Ten Hag helps me out, helps me, helps me out a great deal. He's always open for a chat and demands a lot from you as well and always listen to what he has to say with the aim of getting the team results and helping him. And I think <clears throat> Ten Hag is a believer of what of how Anthony and how good Anthony can become <clears throat> in this season and, and the other coming seasons because he knows his capabilities. Obviously, <clears throat> When you're talking about the ceiling of Anthony, obviously, no doubt, no doubt, his ceiling is high, his talent is undoubted, but I think <clears throat> selfishness is really costing himself, is, is, almost, is costing himself a career at Manchester United. In the previous games I've seen him play, he just goes in for those calling issues for those calling efforts even if he tries it for the first time second time and fails for the third time he just keeps going in for the same thing and he doesn't really look out for an assist yet to me i believe looking out for an assist would make him unpredictable and obviously make him a more threat in front of goal than any of those players that play into the forward positions of Manchester United. because for him <clears throat> his press resistant his talent <clears throat> enables him to really do a lot on the ball and i think he can obviously make <clears throat> the defenders 
have a wrong thought about him and then he acts in a very proper way that will see him really going to the levels of really becoming one of those players that is really so much important for the club of Manchester United. But if Ten Hag is keeping pushing him to really get better and better, that's another huge positive that will always come out and really hail as a man. <clears throat> hail as a man of his word that is Anthony and we want him to get better because Ahmad Diallo has gone ahead to issue a statement that he believes next season is going to go ahead and really do lots of things at Manchester United because of the season he's having at Standerland. He has gone ahead to play 32 games, 11, <coughs> he has scored 11 goals and he has like two assists onto his name. So it shows you how Ahmad is really erupting down in the pre in the championship. Now lastly, let's see what Ericsson has gone ahead to say about Eric Ten Hag. He has said, <clears throat> if you compare with the first matches of the season, I think we are in a completely different situation. We have already won a trophy, which is exceptional compared to our debut. Ten Hag brought discipline in terms of football and ideas compared to the beginning. When you look at the guy now, you know that they, we look at the guys now, you know what they do on the pitch. We brought, he brought structure, discipline and a nice play and a nice way of play. So, talking of the discipline, obviously I think Ronaldo was really one of those huge blocks that Ten Hag had failed to tame and Ronaldo had, was doing lots of things to really show Eric Ten Hag that I'm Ronaldo and you need to really dance to my tunes. And Eric Ten Hag was telling Ronaldo too that, please, I'm the manager of Manchester United. I've been given full authority to fire and hire. That's it. And obviously, at the end of, the, at the end of it all, Ronaldo found himself leave the club of, of Manchester United. And I believe Ronaldo leaving the club of United helped us a lot because we are no longer having indisciplinary issues and Ten Hag can really tame all those players because he has gone ahead to tame the ego of one of the best players in the world by far that is Cristiano Ronaldo and that puts him in a position of not not ruling out <coughs> not ruling out that dressing room of being in discipline again so i think he's really so much on point and he has really brought a way of play that is what Ericsson is really hitting on and obviously that's also another given for Eric Ten Hag because he has really given us a style of play that has really shown us really dominated very many games and obviously turned all travel into, into what we call a a fortress. So guys, your thoughts onto that are welcome in the comment section below. What do you think about Ten Hag's new forward option? That is Santiago Jimenez, 21 years of age, plays for Fre for Feyenoord. He has he has 18 goals in uh, he has 18 goals in 37 games. They are still into the UEFA Europa League, and you never know we might even find them and obviously play against them. Then what do you think about Anthony? As Eric Ten Hag is keeping him is 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 pushing him to become one of those players that obviously has to go all out and do the needful for the club of Manchester United in the field of play to really bring on quality that is really undistributed. Then Ericsson hailing Eric Ten Hag for the work he has gone ahead to do to bring in structure, discipline and the way of play that the boys at United are really enjoying. I sign out for now. See you later. Manchester City is leading Bayern by one goal to nil. Kevin De Bruyne has just been taken off by the manager of Man City. So let's wait and see how that game really ends but we don't want to see Man City winning a treble and this time around we United fans are really celeb are supporting Bayern Munich. I sign out for now. See you later. I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. May the human Lord bless you abundantly. I'm out.